Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 10 things you can do to help win more Battle Arena games. I've been playing a lot of Battle Arena over the past couple of days. I would have played more but of course they took the mode down for a short period for some maintenance. Anyway, whilst I have been playing there are a number of things i found that will help you and your team to win more games. Some of these tips are character specific, others are to do with preparation and battlefield awareness. Just before we start, as usual remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content you see on this channel and want to help it grow. So let's start off with something very obvious but as with all competitive gaming one way that you can win more games is of course by playing with a team of friends or people you can communicate during the match. This of course has a massive advantage over other teams made up of randoms. As a team you can discuss tactics and character lineups that work best, you can talk and tell each other where enemies are headed etc. Being part of a team with people you know makes the experience more fun and will lead to more victories. Number two is about preparation. The game itself hasn't been out very long and I can imagine if you're like me there are some characters you have rarely played as if ever and there is a likelihood you haven't applied any perks to those characters. The difficulty with Battle Arena is that you can only use the same character once per game. Therefore, it is super important to go through all of your classes and make sure they are set up with at least the basic perks. Battle Arena is great for trying new things and you never know what character you will need to use in the final round, let's say. So it's good to be prepared for anything so you are not starting a round at a disadvantage. Moving on, the next tip is about knowing your role. So this relates to the type of character you choose. So for example, if you choose Acorn, you know that in Oak form you deal an incredible amount of damage. So you need to be up at the front taking hits and giving them back, not at the back waiting for the enemies to come to you. Another example is Imp, as Imp you have very little health, so you don't want to immediately run into battle on the front line straight away. Imp is a great distraction and can support your team by holding plants in place, but as soon as the Z mech is ready you know it's your time to shine and do tons of damage. Understanding how to play to your character's strengths will help you to win more games, especially if your team are doing the same. Going off number three, number four is about healers. This one kind of goes without saying, if no one on your team in the round has picked a healer, please, please be a healer. Having a character who can revive quickly, allows characters regain health and able to overheal is vitally important to winning matches. Also, as a healer, be aware of which character needs most attention. So in this clip, I'm giving Foot Soldier the most attention as I know he has the least base health on the team. So the next few tips are character specific. So with number five, let's look at Electric Slide. So a section of the Thunderdome has water and this is where Electric Slide can get some easy vanquishes. As we all know if you fall into the water you are vanquished immediately and cannot be revived. So as Electric Slide you can lure enemies into this section of the map and use the Funky Bouncer ability to push them into the water. It is very very satisfying. A counterpoint to this is if you see an electric slide on the enemy team, stay clear of the water. Staying with zombies, tip 6 is all about the all star and the capture point. All star has his dummy shield ability and this can be insanely useful when the capture point appears. Just drop your shield and the rest of your team has protection for a short period. And you don't need much time to capture the point anyway. The example on screen didn't turn out well but I was outnumbered 3 to 1 so you know. Moving on to the plants, tip 7 is for Chomper. Just like in any multiplayer mode, when you chomp on a zombie they are unrevivable. This can help you to win matches as once Chomper vanquishes an enemy you know no one will be able to revive that character and bring them back into the game. Just be aware that Engineer is the best counter character against Chomper. Sticking with plants, after the latest balance update Colonel Corn got a buff and one of those buffs was an increase on his Butter Beacon's range. So tip 8 is if you are Colonel Corn. Use your butter beacon at the start of the round to give your team intel on the paths that the enemies have taken. Tip 9 applies to 3 characters if I'm correct and this is to make sure you utilise traps to their fullest. Particularly with cactus placing traps all around in unexpected places can give you some big damage or even a vanquish if you're lucky. 
This tip applies to Chomper and Engineer, although the Bullhorn Swarm doesn't stay in place for very long until it disappears. The final tip for how to win more Battle Arena games is to be aware of which characters have been used, as they can only be used once on both your team and the enemy's team. It's like a game of cards, if you know what cards have already been used, it gives you an indication of what is likely to come up next. So if you know no chompers have been used by plants and it's the final round, there's a strong possibility they will use at least one. So if I'm on zombies, choosing engineer would be a sensible decision. Also to help with this, I have created a little table you can print out that allows you to mark down what characters have been used in each round. Just quickly fill in the boxes while the intro to the round plays and this will help. The document is available on my Facebook page, so check it out if you're interested. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found these tips useful. Let me know in the comments if there are any tips you think I missed or you have found that will help to win more games. Other than that, remember to hit subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.